Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in today's video, I will be going over Cisreptor. That is what I used for my CBBH, CPTS, and soon to be CDSA and CAPE uh, reporting platforms for my exams that you have to turn in, obviously. You need to do that report, make sure they're streamlined and you know pretty much perfect uh, to submit um, all your findings, flags, screenshots, etc. So enough said. Let's dive right into it. So, like I said, everyone, Cisreptor, I use this platform um, for my reporting. It is, uh, I've only used it for Hack the Box uh, exams or certifications. I will be honest with that. I haven't used it for anything else. And the reason why I used it is because <clears throat> they already have built-in reporting um, structures in there for Hack the Box, as you can see right here. Uh, as far as I know, the last I checked it, I know the Cape already came out a couple, about a, in December, end of December. That was not on there last time I checked. It was just the four, CBBH, CPTS, CDSA, and the CWEE. Um, so we'll soon see if Cape's on there now. Um, I like it because pretty much this literally is plug and play. They're going to have some defined templates for your report. All you got to do is change the name, as you'll see in a, in a bit, and then add your findings, right? There's going to be multiple ways to skin a cat, obviously pen testing. Um, so you're going to be different, different paths, different routes of action in order to get your to where you need to go to get your flag, your ultimate destination, because you need those flags, a certain amount of flags in order to pass the exam. Hence, where the report comes in, your screenshots, how you did it step by step, at least for the, uh, the CPTS is real granular in that, I found out, um, as I didn't pass my first report. So, um, let me, let's me let hop into here real quick. Um, and again, I've only used these or this platform for my Hack the Box certs uh, for the first two, right? CPTS and CBBH. I will also be using it for the CDSA coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm planning on taking it within two to three weeks. And then after that, I'll be doing the CAPE. I have to wait until I get confirmation that I pass from CDSA because you can't take two exams at once. Uh, I completely forgot about that in my, my planning. So I had to adjust for that, but we should be good to go on track for the rest of the year. So let's go ahead and click on HTB reporting. Um, so pretty much here, oh, they do have the CAPE now. Nice, perfect. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to click on the exam you're going to take. So let's just, most people probably will do the CBBH first. Let's go ahead and click on that. Um, it pretty much already gives this to you. This is where you're going to change it out. And again, this is just the, um, how it's going to look right now. You're going to have to sign in and log in. Um, I will actually, let's see if we could test that out real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Sign up, it's free. All right, so we are logged in. Uh, let's go ahead and do the CBBH. I hope I didn't do this one, yeah, okay. So you're gonna have this left tab, your settings, uh, pretty much what you wanna call the report, um, your version, tags, uh, obviously the language, um, and then your role, right? Members, you could add members on the report if you're doing a dual report. So you could add your different findings, um, kind of like what I talked about, um, you know, for engagements, if you have multiple people on there, you got your notes, um, reporting. I never really used this stuff because it was just myself, obviously, but they are there. I did look at them. Um, I think it does have, I don't remember if I did this, last time downloading more RAM. Yeah, so it does have CyberChef integrated in here, uh, which is pretty cool. I did not use it, but I did see it last time. I just forgot if how it worked um, because I didn't I didn't even click on the tab for CDBH as those, those of you that know, that was the last one I took. I looked at this for the CPTS or during the CPTS. So let's go back to reporting because this is pretty much gonna be your main bread and butter. Um, so pretty much let's go to Meta. Um, that's going to be pretty much on the front page, full name, um, candidate. And I'll just, just let me show you how this is going to look. Right. Um, so when you go to publish, 
Uh, it's not gonna download, it's not gonna finish, it's not gonna be the end all be all. You could go back and change it as you need. But what this is gonna do, uh, did it work? What the, did it work? Let's see if this happened, weird. What this is gonna do is just give you how it's gonna look as you have it as of now, right? So like whatever I put in there, whatever uh, changes I made to the document, this is what's gonna be published. So um, see, so this is how it's gonna look, CBBH exam report, to do candidate name, so that's what you're gonna have to change out. To do customer, which is gonna be, I have no idea, cause you gotta read the rules of engagement, uh, scope of work, in scope, out of scope, et cetera, right? So now you go back to reporting and let's just go back to meta, uh, full name, title, email, uh, that is not a real email by the way, but uh, customer, let's just go whatever. Oops. Version 2.0. Um, black box. Let's just go here. Pen test end date. We'll go. Now, um, as you can see, this is the meta. So this should be on the, this should be published and go on, I think the first two or three pages. So our first page. So we got Tesla version 2.0, we got the start date, my name, and then down here, my, oh, sorry, it's not the second page, it's the other one, uh, third or fourth. So assessor name, my title, my email, and that's how it's pretty much gonna look. So I'm not gonna go through all this because the way I write my report might not make sense to you, and you know, vice versa, right? There's a million ways to skin a cat, there's infinite ways to get to the Mona Lisa, right? Um, meaning there's a million ways to do this report to catch the eye of someone that you're doing the report for. In this case, it's Hack the Box. But I will go over this portion with you. Now, uh, let's go findings. Let's just go SQL. Oh, actually, we could do this, add finding, right? Because they they're gonna have some that are already in there. So what you could use, if you find a SQL injection, user enumeration, cross-site scripting, they have some pre-built ones in there already. So let's just go ahead and add these. Create from template. Let's go ahead and add another one. And then you could also change these inside, change the um, templates as well. Uh, I'll go over that too. Create from here. And let's, I don't think they have a blue one. No, they don't. Oh yeah, they do. Let's go here. So now, if we come back here, what you're gonna do, this is where you could change it and update it at. You could also get the CVSS from uh, online and add it in here. And this, all this will change. You also have a CVSS editor and you can go in and adjust it as needed. So you can get really granular with this. Um, Component, uh, affected components, uh, let's just say, I don't know, web server. References, you could add Rapid7, whatever references you find, hack tricks, uh, Rapid7, uh, medium ar article, whatever the reference is, right? OWASP, top 10, um, whatever. You could add that here. Now here is where you're gonna add what you found like the, for the CBBH is gonna be different from CPTS because this is where you're gonna find um, how you identified it, your description, um, and then what you found. And literally for here is where I go step by step and also between steps, if you have them, add your screenshots. Um, and then also I missed one, the recommendations or remediation to fix it. That's what you're gonna add here. Um, impact is gonna be critical uh, or impact like the criticality of the risk or the vulnerability, how it's gonna impact business, et cetera. So uh, let's just go for 
Oh, actually, you know what? Here's what I'll tell you guys here, um, because I don't want you to do it my way. I want you guys to be creative and do it your way. Um, what I do for chat GPT is I would get this at, um, in my box, I would put, um, how can I break me down a high level overview for my pen test report for an executive level, um, meeting for the overview of this finding, um, the impact to business of this finding, and then also the recommendations to fix and or remediation. Um, and also if you could link any other, uh, references, so you could put more than one, right? Obviously right here. And then after that, just plug and play from chat GPT, make sure your report is good because hack the box will hammer down on your report. If it looks like crap or there's not enough, make sure it's legit. Um, and then here, make sure step-by-step step your findings. Um, and that's pretty much it, right? And then executive summary, all your findings here. Uh, is it this one? Executive summary, I think it is. Let's go here. It should publish um, on there. What do we have? One, two. Okay, yeah, so um, let me go over this real quick. So here's our findings, right? Since I added those, uh, when I, I ain't gonna lie, when I first saw this kind of report, I thought I would have to do it through either Excel where you, where you do the Excel and transfer it to Microsoft, the graph stuff. No, um, it's all here. All you gotta do is, is update it, right? Your name's already there. Um, and then these will update and populate as you do the, uh, the findings. So every finding you have is gonna update and populate this. Um, you don't have to touch it at all. Um, and then here's how it's gonna look down here. SQL injection, finding evidence. Um, and then it's gonna list everything down step-by-step step with all your screenshots. Um, statement of conflict, but let's see, where is that other piece at? So the executive summary, uh, it's already has pretty much everything on there. Uh, you could you could tweak it up or you could copy and paste it, which is what I did, throw it in chat GPT and make it more, more high level for an executive or C-suite. That's what I did. Um, and then here, whatever host IP addresses, URLs, you're gonna add that you find, you're gonna add them in here. You might have to add more. Um, or this might be enough, I don't know yet. Um, I can't give you that. <laughs> and then also your assessment overview and recommendations, you will throw them in here as well. Um, these would be more high level. Uh, the ones you got in here would be pretty much down to the T. That's how I did it at least, it worked for me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it with Sysraptor. It's real simple, real plug and play. Um, as you can see, once I put my name in there, it pretty much updated everywhere. Um, Tesla, you know, my name. So pretty much it's real easy, real simple. Um, there's one last thing, guys, I forgot. Uh, probably the most important thing, because uh, this happened to me on the CBBH. I don't know what it, I don't know if it did or not, but I'll take the hit regardless. Um, real quick, oops, shit. Um, okay, why I say this is the most important thing is because your report, unlike the OSCP, you have to just submit the report. It cannot be password locked, encrypted, et cetera. So by default, these passwords are encrypted right here, right? So you could you could download the report, publish it, close out, close out the, the browser, come back on, and you could still make changes. Everything's gonna be the same. It's not the end all be all, like I said. So first thing you're, once you check, the report, double check, triple check, quadruple check. Make sure everything is good. Take your time if you have it. Trust me, um, do not mess up your report because they will, within 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, because remember they're in UK time for, if you're in the US obviously, you will get a fail and they will leave why, and it's more than likely gonna be due to the report obviously, um, or your structure in your report. However, it will also be because by default, these are encrypted. So um, make sure you uncheck, double and triple check, right? Because it's gonna have the password right here. By, it's by default, it's all right here. Um, so again, I can't stress this enough. Before you hit download, hit uncheck, make sure that there's no password here. 
You could change the um, CBBH exam report. This is how I did mine. Um, oops, I took this one out, obviously. That's how I, that's pretty much how I need my report. Literally the same thing right here. So if you were to go into my box drive and see my report, that's how exactly how it would look. But again, please, I just, when you check your report, double, triple, quadruple, hell, even five times, make sure this is unchecked. Because if you submit this like this and you download it, submit it to Hack the Box, it's an automatic fail. You'll get this back within 24 hours, not unless it's a weekend. You'll get it back the following Monday. So I can't harp this enough. This is the biggest issue I see or people complaining about this is again, it's by default. Make sure you uncheck it so there's no password here, PDF password, and it's not checked. It'll move up, right? Again, that's the probably the biggest thing where people fail from using this platform is they oversight this. And again, I, I'll take the hit. I've done it myself as well for CBBH. So that's the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Again, this is probably the most important thing. Um, yeah, uh, again, the other thing is too, is please make sure you do your report your way. Um, I didn't wanna go through and write a whole report because um, no one's gonna sit through that and watch it. I wouldn't, uh, you know, but do your report your own way. Use chat GPT. Maybe you're good off the bat, off the cuff from writing your own stuff. Um, do it your own way, have your own process. And I try to get it to where, depending on the type of report, depending on my audience that I got, this is going to, I try to use it and translate that into my work and vice versa, right? So I use PlexTrack, which is kind of similar, maybe more in depth, more granular, but this is pretty much similar to PlexTrack in my opinion. It's a little bit, you know, more on the manual side, but it's it's kind of, you know, the, the foundations there. So again, that's the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this, if you're gonna be using it, or if there's another platform that's better. Um, just let me know, I'd like to know as well, and check it out. Um, so I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.